everybody doing the tonight. Um, first, I would like to say thank you to the man up above Hold up. for blessing me, my family, my friends, and also my fans um, to be here tonight. I would also want to give a, sp a special shout out to my kids, my lady, and also my family who are here tonight. And give a shout out to my 2001 class. All my brothers who came in with me, man, we had a great class. I want to give a shout out to all my brothers. I would like to say I'm, I'm happy to be here with the guys, the people up here. My cousin, Nevi, uh, showed me the roads when I first got into Miami. Um, Also, uh, uh, I wish you know my mom was here, but I know I know she's smiling down on me. I know she's happy to see to see me getting inducted into UM Hall of Fame. But she was one of the reasons I came here. I remember every time I used to ride by the school, she used to be like, "Baby, that's where you going?" I used to be like, "I'm not going there. They got too many bats." <laughs> um, and I and I and I and I did. I, you know, my mom had problems. She was she was ill, and I wanted to stay home. But I, I would like to say thank you to all all my coaches who I played for. Um, Co Coach Art Keo, I want to say thank you for coming to Car Gable Senior High to recruit me. And also also Curtis, Curtis, Coach Curtis Johnson when I committed to Ole Miss. Coach CJ saw me outside my house the night before signing day. And he, and he told me, and he told me, he was like, he was like, if you want to be the best, you'll play with the best, you'll compete, you'll compete with the best, you'll come to Miami. And, and he was right. Because my running back room was very, very talented, man. Man, I, and I think if I didn't compete with them guys in college, I wouldn't have had the career I had at the NFL right now today. Check, check out the names. Check out the names now. Clinton Porters. Willis McGahee. Najee Davenport. Jerry Payton. Quadra Hill. I want to tell my brothers, thank y'all. Thank y'all for everything. But especially, I want to say thanks to Clinton Porters. I remember, I remember when Willis and I was his roommate before, like the night before the games. And he, he was like, hey. He was like, hey, I'm gonna go ball and get 100 yards in the first, in the first half, and, and you come in the second half and go, and go handle your business. You better not let up. <laughs> then he, and he also used to tell me, if I outrush him, he'll give me a couple bucks. <laughs> and I, not, if, I, if he was here tonight, I remember the two games I outrushed him. It was, it was Syracuse and West Virginia. So I'm a, when, I, when, I, when I see them later, wherever we at, I'm going to have to get them a couple bucks, you know? <laughs> but I would like to sing this woman out because she was very big in my life, one of the reasons that I went to college. She was my middle school counselor, Sharon Krantz. She never, t till this day, never asked me for a dime. Only thing she wanted me to do was be successful in life. I want to tell her, thank you, and I love you. And last but not least, my running back coach. Coach Saul. Because I remember when I told my second ACL, I told him, Coach, football not for me. And he told me, Elf, bro, you crazy. My goal is to make sure you get to the NFL, and I promise you, you're going to go do big things. And, Coach, I did. <laughs> and I want to say thank you, man. I'm happy, I'm happy to be back home 
playing for the Dolphins back in front of my fans. And Coach, Coach Rick, man, I love what you're doing. Keep, keep, get us back, baby. Get us back. All right, let's go.